So now I'm going to click on this Run Benchmark button. I happen to be displaying the Name Servers tab at this time. Run Benchmark. Immediately, this little icon starts to spin, and a lot of information is shown here in the Name Servers list. Notice that as the test progresses, the icon spins, and a bar graph, bar graph advances from left to right. This is going to take a few minutes to run. He's evaluating, I think it's about 50 name servers that are well known in public that should be available pretty much anywhere. And he exercises each of them with a lot of thorough tests, sending them queries that he knows will respond quickly and other queries that he knows will be difficult, asking them what um, other servers, uh, th then watching how many other servers respond and keeping track of, of, um, of how each is performing in terms of does, does it respond quickly or not? Does the response look proper? Is it properly formatted? How does it respond to complex queries, funny looking queries, etc.? Uh, this is going to take a few minutes. So as this bar graph advances from left to right, I'm going to pause the movie and we'll return to it. When we're done, these graphs will be sorted uh, fastest to slowest, the best one will be here on top, and I'll know which of these 50 or so name servers work the best for me. Okay, welcome back. Three or four minutes have passed, and I noticed that my bar graph has mostly completed. It's tested most of the uh, well-known public domain name servers for me, and as the test has run, I've seen their positions shuffle in this list. I can scroll the list up and down and I can see um, the fastest ones are at the top and slower ones down here at the bottom. These took much longer to respond. I can uh, tweak the display. Notice this button right here that says Show Uncached. If I turn that off, it shows only the cached high-speed accesses and allows me to determine really the basics of how fast things are responding. If I turn this button on, it shows additional information about cached uh, requests, uh, uncached requests, and queries for a um, domain.com. The green graph and the, the purple graph are also interesting. And What you want is a balance of the fastest performance on all of them. I'm very pleased to notice that within a few seconds of the test running, this domain name server was sorted to the top of the list. Its IP address is 192.168.10.1, and I recognize that one. That's my own router. So Steve is telling me that when he... All right, that's done. Steve is telling me that when he uses my router for domain services, it gets the fastest response. We're done now. Now that we're done, um, he pops up this advice. Welcome to all of our YouTube viewers. If you are using YouTube to watch these clips, it can be difficult to find the next one in the proper sequence. Please come visit us at AskMrWizard.com, where we have the online technology magazine organized to make it really easy to find these in context, along with related text, images, and discussions.